Before you begin to use the slit lamp, it is important that it is set up for that particular user. This should be done with the room lights off, but for recording purposes we will demonstrate with the lights on. The observation system has a variable eyepiece focus that will compensate for the refractive error of different operators as it is advised to operate without spectacles, as a greater field of view can be gained with the eyes close to the eyepiece. However, high astigmatism cannot be compensated for. The observation system also enables you to adjust the magnification being used depending on the detail you're wanting to observe. It is essential to correctly focus the slit lamp before use to gain the most accurate and reliable view, especially when using high magnification. We do this using the focusing rod which is placed in the pivot hole which can be found just in front of the observation system. It is important that when putting the focusing rod into the pivot hole that it is facing forward to prevent one eye piece being focused at a different angle to the other. Firstly you must adjust the magnification to a high magnification and decrease the width of the slit. We then must focus the eyepieces of the observation system. To do this we twist them anti-clockwise increasing the positive power of the eyepiece to as much as possible. Then, using one at a time, twist the eyepiece clockwise until the slit becomes clear. If you overturn the eyepiece, the image won't become blurred, but it will force us to accommodate, which may lead to fatigue and inaccuracy. Lastly, using both eyes, adjust the interpapillary distance of the eyepieces so that both eyes have a clear view through the observation system.